Am I audible, Dr. Pasna? Good afternoon, sir. Yes, sir, you are audible. Uh, very good afternoon. So, okay. sir, sir it will take uh, four to five minutes more. Uh, right, right. I am in the meeting oh. now. Oh, okay, sir. Okay. Hello, Dr. Pasna, you can start now. Okay, sir. 
we are starting. Very good afternoon to all. Uh, I am Dr. Pasna, Assistant Professor and Internship Coordinator, IAC. Sir, am I audible? You are very well audible. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. No, ma'am. Uh, please uh, mute yourself. I am Dr. Pasna, Assistant Professor and Internship Coordinator, IAC College of Agriculture Sciences. Tirthankar Mahavir University, Muradabad. I welcome you all. This is my honor and privilege to welcome you all for today's session on Achieving Problem Solution, Fit and Product Market Fit, organized by IIC Tirthankar Mahavir University. Uh, on behalf of uh, IIC Council, Tirthankar Mahavir University, I welcome our resource person of today's session, Dr. Bhaskar Gupta. Innovation Ambassador, Ministry of Education Innovation Center. I heartily welcome our Dean, Student Welfare, Dr. M.P. Singh Sir, Associate Dean, Dr. Manjula Jain, Convener, IAC Sir, Dr. Gitanchu Dabar, for this session and also for encouraging and supporting uh, us to organize this wonderful session. I also welcome our uh, uh, dear faculty members and our student. Now I will introduce our guest speaker, Dr. Bhaskar Gupta, a veteran academician, research scientist and director and I, TRA Technical Campus, joined as an uh, officiating director and dean at IMT Group of Colleges, Greater Noida in June 2020. Dr. Gupta completed his BE in uh, 2001 and MTech with honors in 2006. While electronics and communication has been his core area, Dr. Gupta, in his academic career, spanning for more than 19 years now, has taught various subjects at both UG and PG level in many renowned institutions such as AKGEC, ABES, IMS, and DIT. He is presently working as a President of IIC Cell and trained as an innovation ambassador by Ministry of Education Innovation Cell. He is also the coordinator of NISP and ATIA. He has been taking session on innovation inter entrepreneurship, design thinking, IPR, BMC, technology readiness level, critical thinking since last 10 years across the country. He is a startup founder and currently handling MSME based incubation center having more than 35 startups. He has more than five Indian patents published, two copyrights, and two book chapters published in CRC Press. Uh, his work, other than basic teaching, including publishing and presenting several papers in national and international journals, guiding AMTEC projects, working on various state and central government sponsored projects traveling and around USA, South Korea, Oman, Afghanistan, Dubai, and Ethiopia on academic come research mission in association with world-renowned universities. Notable against his research and development achievement are commercialization of electronic eye for blind people in collaboration with MSME, Delhi developing UAB in collaboration with Korea Aerospace Industries Association, South Korea working on DRDO sponsored project, on robotics, completing NASCOM based uh, project on software defined review and mentoring a student for Microsoft Imagine Cup competition under software category. Dr. Bhaskar Gupta had been uh, the director of SSI, SSI TM Aligarh, BRTM Khurja, and NITRA Technical Campus, Gajewad, hence having substantial exposure to administrative affairs. Besides, he is fellow member of IEEE, MTT, IE, IE, TE, and IIRS Dehradun. He had been six time coordinator for Delhi IIT virtual lab program and working as nodal coordinator for IIRS ISRO outreach program and IITM SWAM and PTEL program. Thank you so much, sir, for accepting our invitation. Now, uh, uh, over to you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Pasna, for my nice introduction. 
Uh, very good afternoon to one and all present here for the session on achieving problem solution fit and product market fit, which is one of the quarter two activities of IAC 4.0 version of Ministry of Education Innovation Cell. Let me just thank you and my express my gratitude to Dr. M.P. Singh, Director, Students Welfare, Dr. Manjula Jain, Associate Dean Academics, Dr. Gitanshu Dabu, Convener, IIC, Dr. Upasana, Internship Coordinator, my dear students and faculty members, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the session on problem solution fit and product market fit. As I have already discussed, this is one of the quarter two activities being conducted. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Tumari bhi chal rogi shayad. Waiting with the way I do. Please mute yourself. It is a request. It is a request. Please mute yourself. Being conducted under IAC 4.0, quarter two activity. I would request Dr. Parkna. Rakesh, who is joining? Just make sure you join. Just make sure you join. Just make sure you join. Doctor Pasna, would you please mute others? Doctor Pasna, am I audible? Yes, sir. Sir, I'm sharing. I'm sharing PPT. Yes, please do share. Is okay. this coming from your mind? Dear students, thank you very much for attending today's session. And I am damn sure the session is going to be very insightful and enriching. I hope by the end of this session, you will be able to inculcate you know, the traits and characteristics of being a successful entrepreneur or startup founder or any business venture owner. So this session is actually going to address the characteristics and the methodology to be adopted when planning to open your own startup or the business event. So if we look at development process, usually consisting of three important stages. The very next one, next slide. Any customer development process is consisting of three important steps. The very first one is problem solution fit, then product market fit, and the third one is business model market fit. So whenever you are planning to open your own startup, dear students, you have to focus on these three important steps. However, I am not going to cover business model market fit due to the limitation of the time. So next slide, please. If you are planning for any startup, any startup consists of three important steps. Problem solution fit is about your customer development, where you have to work on ideation, you have to work with your proof of concept, you have to generate the idea, you have to speak to your customer to know about their problems and needs and wants. Based on that, you are going to identify the relevant problem. The problem must always be worth solving and the problem must be viable. If you have not solved a proper problem, genuine problem or worth solving, then maybe you want not, would not be able to realize the innovative solution and maybe you won't be able to have more effective solution for the problem. 
You can do it by demonstrating your model in front of the customers. You can do it by taking customers' feedback. You can interview your customer or end user who is going to buy your product. So once you have identified the problem during problem solution fit, you are done with it. Now, gradually, you will move to product market fit, which is about customer validation. Customer validation means you have to validate your product or service or process which you are going to develop. So during this particular stage, you have to validate your idea by developing minimum fiber product or the rough product which you have to demonstrate in front of the outside users within your design team itself. And you have to gather the feedback from the customer, whether the customer is ready to accept it or not ready to accept it. This way, you are going to validate your customer. Once you are done with this product market fit, as a startup founder, you can now think of scaling your business. You can definitely look at the growth of your business unit in some successive steps. So what is most important to achieve the problem solution fit first, thereafter product market fit, and finally the scaling where you can go for market expansion, you can expand your business, you can increase the volume of your customer database to whom you are going to sell. So these are the three important steps of any startup. Or as a startup founder, you should not underestimate any of these important steps. If any one of these steps will be missed by you, then I am sure your startup will fail and your idea will not work, it will die. Next, if you look at the different stages of startup, the problem, next slide please, Dr. Vasta. Problem solution fit starts with the formation. Formation means your idea generation, your concept. You have to be ready with your technology concept, whether you are going to develop the technology, you have to generate your idea based on the problem statement. So once you have talked to the customer based on the feedback, you are going to develop, you are going to create the problem statement. Now that problem statement has to be solved by ideation technique, where ideation refers to idea generation, and ideation can be performed in number of ways. There are plenty of techniques existing around us, which I will be discussing later in the session. Once you are done with your idea generation, you have to validate your idea. You have to validate your product by developing your MVP, minimum viable product, into the market, which you are going to demonstrate in front of the customers. And you are now going to collect the feedback whether this rough product is accepted by customer or not, whether you have added any feature in your product, whether you have added any innovative feature in your product or design or your process or your service, online service. So this way you have to first validate your idea. You have to validate your product. Once your validation of the customer is done, of course, you can look at the growth of your business today, which is the last stage where you are going to work for customer creation. You are going to create a big pool of customers who are going to buy your product, who are going to give, who are going to value your product or service based on the features you have added. Please don't forget it is the customer who is going to pay for your product. Even if you have developed some novel and innovative design, novel and innovative product, but you forgot to take the feedback from the customer, in that case, customer is not going to buy your product and your product will not get any kind of success in the market. So it is very imperative to keep you know, customers' feedback whenever you are planning to start any kind of business. Next slide. 
So what is a problem solution fit? The problem solution fit simply means that you have found a problem with your customer and that the solution you have realized for it actually going to solve their problem. So this is very important. Whatever the solution you have realized must address the problem statement of the customer. Otherwise, you won't be able to achieve problem solution fit. Next. Problem solution fit, this occurs when you have evidence that customers care about certain jobs, pains, and gains. At this stage, you have proved the existence of a problem and have designed a value proposition that addresses your customers' jobs, pains, and gains. What do I mean? So during this problem solution fit, you certainly you have to care about your customer because you have developed the problems along with this. You should try to solve unique value position. What does it mean? Whenever developing a product or developing any new technology, whatever the value you have added to your product, why should I purchase your product is based on unique value position. Whenever as a founder, you are going to present about your business in front of angel investors, venture capitalists, successful entrepreneurs, incubators, accelerators, about your pitch stack, certainly you have to tell about your unique value position just for your product. If the unique value position is missing from your problem solution set. Next slide, Dr. Masna. What do you have with the problem solution set? If we look at what is suggestion for us, we should have some satisfied early adopters who are going to use your MVP minimum viable product. And of course, a validated problem that you solve with the early whenever you want to achieve problems. Okay, then you should find at least three to five buyers who are interested in your product, who are going to pay for your product because of your value position, which you added during the development of the technology or the product or the service or the process or the representational model, whatever it is. Next. How to get a problem solution fit? We can achieve it in simple eight steps. Next, please. So it is very, very important to know about your customer. Who is your customer? It is important to collect the demographic data of your customer as well as sociographic data. It is very important to know about your customer. What is the problem of the customer is equally important, which you need to know. What is the root cause of the problem is the most important thing. Whenever you are going to empathize with your customers or end users, you should, you would have to express mercy, empathy, compassion towards your customers. You have to work down to earth approach. You have to understand their problems, you have to understand their wants and needs. Next, is the customer aware of the problem? Sometimes the customer is also not aware of the problem and the wrong problem is passed to you, which you are going to solve. So this is the problem which is not worth solving on which you are going to waste, of, waste your time. So there would be a substantial waste of time. So please do remember, whenever working with customers, you have to identify something, some problem, 
which must be technologically uh, feasible and commercially viable. If problem is not worth solving, then whatever the solution you will realize will not help out in solving the problems. What is your product or service? Once you have found a validated problem, you can now realize your solution. And definitely once you are going to realize the solution, you would have to tell the benefits and attractions of your product, functionalities of your product to the customer. Because if you are not going to describe about merits of your product, functionalities of your product in much more details, then maybe the customer will lose interest and may not buy your product. Next, what are alternative solutions for the customer? It's not a blue ocean, dear students, where there is no competition. Actually, you are working in a red ocean where large, you know, database is there. More number of competitors are available in the market with the same kind of product, same kind of service, and same types of features. So whenever you are working in red ocean, you have to be very careful. You have to empathize with customer. You have to understand your market segment properly, whether the product which you are going to develop is already existing in the market. If it is already existing, then what additional features you have added to your product or in your online service. So please be careful. A lot of competition is there. This is highly competitive world where you are going to launch your product. What are considerations your customer has while choosing a solution? What are important go-to-go -go parts of your business, product or service? Map these out and as much as possible, make sure your product is optimized for them. So it is very important. You have to first understand the wants and needs of the problems. Based on their wants, you have to develop a product and you have to optimize that particular product or service according to their wants. Otherwise, again, the problem will be there. Next. Does your product or service actually solving the customer's problem? You have to focus on your product or service which you are going to develop. Is actually going to address the problem identified during the empathy state. When you spoke to your customers, when you demonstrated your product, so your product or service should really address the problem of the customer. It must be really innovative solution in order to address the problem of the To learn about your, product, your service, which is solely based on the feedback received from the customer or the end user, which you are going to gather, you are going to analyze, you are going to synthesize, and you are going to perform the number of iterations until you get the right product in your hands, which is to be launched into the market for commercialization. Next, Dr. Pasta. The problem solution fit is an important step towards the product market fit, but often an underestimated one. What do you think about the problem solution fit? So, in the past, it has been seen that product market fit stage has been underestimated by many startup founders, and that's the reason most of the startups failed in the last decade. Next. If you look at the problem solution fit, next please. It, it is all about the unique value proposition. It is about the value which you are going to add to your product or service. Problem solution fit is actually about customer validation. It is about idea generation. 
Once you have generated the idea, you have to validate your problem on which you are working. So you are going to develop minimum viable product in order to test, in order to check your product, whether it is acceptable or not acceptable. So please do remember, during the problem solution fit, you have to add certain value to your product, to your service. Next. If at least 12 customers are saying that they are now ready and they are now going to invest money into your product or into your problem which you are trying to solve, that's good. There must be at least 12 customers who are now ready to say that, yes, we must have a solution for this problem. If there are at least five early adopters ready to start start helping you in scaling up your business, that's very good. If it means five buyers are there, five investors are there who are going to invest working capital in your startup based on your innovative idea. If at least one feature you have added to your product, there must be at least five early adopters who are now ready to pay for your product or service because you have really added some innovative feature in your product. That's why early adopters are now ready, evangelists are now ready to pay for your product. Next, even if you are going to miss any of these steps, no need to worry. You, you can have one problem solution fit canvas, which you can fill. Next, please. So if you look at problem solution fit canvas, you will find, next, Dr. Pasta. If you look at this canvas, you have to know who is your customer. You have to explore limitations. How are you going to be different than competition? You have to focus on frequent, costly or urgent problems to solve. You have to really understand the cause of the problem, tap into recurrence or support existing behavior. You have to work more on the design aspects, your down to work solution, be where your customer are. So this is, this is, these are the nine blocks in this canvas. Once you are going to plan for opening your startup, you can fill this canvas, I am damn sure, your startup will work. Next slide. Problem solution fit is about understanding the problem of the user. Once the problem has been understood properly, you have to define it, you have to generate the problem statement. Once the relevant problem statement has been generated, you have to validate the customer by developing minimum viable product which is a new version of the product with additional features, which you are going to launch into the market in order to test, in order to evaluate the performance of your product or service or process. Next. So if you look at the problem solution, it starts with learning, build, measure. Next. Problem solution fit is about learning. Ma'am, would you please go to next slide? Slide number 18, next to this. Dr. Pasna, would you please go to slide number 18? Slide number 18, yes. Problem solution fit is about to learn where you are going to learn from the customer. You are going to trust your customer, identifying their problems. You are going to build the prototype in order to validate your customer, in order to validate your product. Once the second step is over, you have to measure the performance by undergoing the literature study, competitive analysis, online surveys, unique value position, and of course, some experimental work might be there test for testing purpose. Next. Problem solution fit is the first step on the journey to product market fit. Problem solution fit establishes that 
you are fixing a problem for early adopters successfully. By no means does this establish that you have a product market fit as early adopters will usually only make up a small part of your potential market, but it is a good step in the right direction. Next, I would like to give you one example of Obey used for transportation services, could use both problem solution and product market fit. And it is a result of that, the Uber and Ola are having a large network of customers around the world. Even today, you must be doing, Uber has acquired the Decacorn startup status around the world. It means Uber has crossed the unicorn status just because of their methodology, which they implemented. Of course, they used both problem solution and product market fit. And that's why Uber is very popularly known everywhere. You must be aware of Uber and Ola, which are the most successful startups were born in last five or six years only. So next slide, please. Next slide. Can you directly come to slide number 23, Dr. Pasta? Slide number 23. Yes, yes, yes. So there is some problems. No problem. Slide number 23. Uh, slide number 23. Yes, if you look at this startup curve where you will see happiness versus the time, you will see whenever you are going to start any business, initially you have a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. So the graph, there is a peak in the graph, but gradually over the time, the experimentation and testing work starts. So you are moderating this figure, don't expect any financial gains, any rewards in the beginning. This is a very tough time the startup founder has to undergo, but gradually, as soon as you achieve the product market fit, you can think of scaling, you can right now think of growth of your business, and you can expect some exponential growth in your happiness over the time. Next, Next slide. The product market fit concept was developed and named by Andy and co-founder of Venturefront and is the co-founder of Benchmark. The core of Reclef's idea for PMF was based on his analysis of the investing style used by pioneering venture capitalist and Sequoia founder, Doc Valentine. Next. So if you look at the product market fit, your product should have some unique value position. You should add some feature set to your product. You should add some value position. There only your product has to establish, you know, the connection with the market. And whenever the product is establishing connection with the market, you have to identify your target customer. You have to focus on their wants and needs. Next. If you address a market that really wants your product, then it's good. If the dogs are eating your food, then no need to worry, no need to panic. 
but conversely if you are really good at execution but dogs are not eating your food then there is a problem in your business which means certainly you have forgotten something maybe you did not apply the concept of product market fit when you started your business in a nutshell it can be stated product market fit is having a product that is needed and valued by the customer or the market next product market fit in a nutshell is about problem market fit your product must have readiness for the market you should have lean startup methodology whenever you are planning for a startup in the early stages of the business so you should make use of lean methodology you should be ready with your minimum viable product for validation in order to validate your product in front of the customers whether your product is acceptable or not next next after this after this there are three important signs which you, if you are going to receive those signs you will understand that you have achieved the product market fit if there is a sudden and significant pulling from the market that's a right sign that you are going to achieve success if there is a gradual but compounding pulling from the market that's also wonderful you are hitting a milestone so if you are receiving these three important signs during the journey of startup i am sure you have must have achieved the product market fit there are number of companies existing around the world netflix obey substack airbnb caviar which have already used the concept of problem solution fit and product market fit during a long journey of their startup cycle next if you look at the important six steps are there during any startup during any product market fit you have to line up your product goals come up with product hypothesis prioritize hypothesis speak with five buyers make bets with mvps keep kill or pivot or I, what i mean to say you have to perform the number of iterations in the last based on the feedback so if you are going to follow these six important steps during the journey and then damn sure that you will succeed in your venture next if you look at and comparing the two products you can see the product b performance is declining over the time and is approaching the value zero in this particular case of product b which means product b did not achieve product market fit compared to this product b this product a has achieved a consistent and uniform performance over the time because product a compared to product b could make could achieve product market fit after the problem solution fit so this is about the retention curve of the product next overall if you look at the product market fit it is about your target audience to whom you are going to sell who will be your customer who is going to value your product or process once it is done you have to do value position you have to add some value to the product or the service once you have added value you have to validate it by the development of minimum viable product which you are going to launch in front of the customers in order to collect their feedback once you are done with the mvp which you have demonstrated in front of others you have to develop the final product which is now to be launched into the market for the commercialization next of course uh, whenever you are going to launch any product into the market marketing and branding of the product is playing very important role so please don't underestimate the role of marketing marketing and branding is equally important for the promotion of your products or services next i would like to tell you one example in last couple of years one three dimensional television was launched into the market 
and that particular company did not use the concept of product market fit they launched that 3d television directly into the market after the problem solution fit what happened the startup failed nobody was ready to accept that 3d television and most of you must be knowing and uh, it was not accepted no buyer was there no customer was there because they underestimated the concept of this product market fit so please do remember you have to follow first problem solution fit after this product market fit and third one is scaling next next i tell you which way to go you can now come to this uh, slide number 42 slide number 42 how do you determine the market fit for a product the product market fit pyramid is there whenever you will look at six important steps when whenever evaluating potential ideas the problem must be worth solving and developing it should align with your business and brand with enough people willing to pay for it the product market fit pyramid is a useful tool to start with if you look at the pyramid next slide please if you will look at this pyramid the six important steps are there which starts from market opportunity hypothesis of course you have to exploit the opportunities lying in the market you have to perform the screening of the problems you have to do market problem validation you have of course you have to validate the problem once the problem has been validated you have to perform ideation ideation refers to idea generation and thereafter you have to develop your experimental product concept you have to validate your product concept so by doing this you are ultimately going to achieve some innovative solution for the identified problem next each element of the triangle depends on the others think of it as spinning three plates one in each hand and one on your foot it's hard to keep everything spinning and balanced at the same time next come to after this validate market problem after this yes once you have identified the problem is worth solving it is tempting to move directly into the solution space but remember the critical next step is testing your idea with customers to that and alberto introduced the concept of prototypes in his book the right it you have probably heard of prototypes but what's a prototype so prototype is the model which is developed prior to prototype that is called prototype next please uh come to slide number 49 come to slide number 49 so there are number of examples and tactics around us which we use in order to generate novel and innovative ideas like explainer videos we can take help of crowdfunding storyboards next of course the brainstorming is also the important ideation technique prototyping is also there remember that as you are using these techniques you are trying to prove that the product is valuable to your potential customer and that they are willing to pay enough to make your investment worthwhile once you confirm that the market is large enough to be viable and that customers will find your solution valuable you can return to building prototypes or basic services to confirm that the product is feasible for your company to build profitability next so there are important next after this so there are three important models tam sam and so after this next so with the help of yes 
So TAM is about total addressable market where you are going to focus on the total market in which you are going to sell your product, serviceable available market in which you are focusing on your own technology, you are going to focus on your own product. And the third important one is serviceable available market. This is one of the important one where we are going to focus on, you know, considering competition in the market, different countries, trends, expected demand, forecasting, my sales, distribution channels, and other market influences are being investigated under so which is serviceable obtainable market next you are already knowing most of you everybody is aware of apple corporation very renowned company in the manufacturing of iphones i would like to inform you apple corporation since beginning has successfully you know used the concept of design thinking technology readiness level and both problem solution and product market fit for their iPhones, and that's why we, the customers, have really valued the iPhones manufactured by Apple Corporation. Next. Come to the slide number uh, 59. Come to slide number 59. So now once you are ready with your product, with a problem validation, you have to develop it and you have to validate the product concept. So Apple knew how to build full featured computers. Apple initially in the beginning early days worked with computers. Everybody is knowing, but uh, they could not get that <laughs> from the market. Marketing and they knew so, how to join but they had never attempted to build something <laughs> as small and as powerful as the iPhone would need to be. They went through many product concepts before settling on a single pane of durable glass with a multi-touch interface in the mobile phones. They knew it solved the problem and it was delightful to use but it would not be cheap. So that's why, dear students, why are you paying you know, so much amount of money for iPhones of Apple? Because Apple has successfully used the concept of problem solution and product market fit and innovative design as far as their iPhones are concerned iPads, iPods are concerned. Yes, we the customers have really added more value to their iPhones because they adopted the methodology of both problem solution and product market fit. Next. Next. They, they built a hypothesis based on their research during the validation stage itself. Clearly, they could not target broad market adoption initially. I do accept, but if their serviceable obtainable market was only 1% of the total mobile phone market, they could focus on consumers with sufficient disposable income. After multiple rounds of market testing, they targeted consumers who were fashion forward, cared about convenience and likely already owned both a mobile phone and an iPod. This put the iPhone in US dollar 499 and 599 US dollar price tags within reach of the target market. Next, finding your product market fit, all the recommendations we covered here can provide a better framework to help you gather and analyze this data. To achieve product market fit, remember that your product must be valuable, viable, and feasible. Develop a market opportunity, hypothesis, screen for it to validate the market problem, ideate, and finally develop and validate your product concept. At the heart of product market fit is, next please. At the heart of the product market fit is listening to the voice of the customer, 
observing their behavior and determining what problems they are looking to solve when they are purchasing your products and services. The rest is up to you, how you are going to lead your business, the way you are going to lead with all this. I would like to conclude today's session. Thank you very much, Dr. Upasana. That's all from my side. Now over to you. Thank you so much, sir. Is there any query or questions regarding this uh, session? Dear participants, you want to ask any question? Okay, sir, uh, I think there is no query. So thank you so much, sir, for giving us your valuable time, your uh, precious knowledge sharing with us. Thank you on the behalf of our university, on the behalf of IIC Council, Tirthankar Mahavir University. Thank you so much, sir. Thank, Thank you, you. Very much. Thank you all for giving me an opportunity to express my views for today's session. So I think you can now close the session officially. Okay, sir. Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, dear participants.